Hello, my name is Dr. Pauline O'Reilly and I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Nursing and Midwifery and a member of the Health Research Institute in the University of Limerick, Ireland and the lead author of this paper. Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis are rare conditions usually caused by severe immune mediated reaction to certain medications or in some cases they may be linked to particular infections. The outcome is a loss of skin and mucous membranes. Stevens-Johnson syndrome, or SJS, and toxic epidermal necrolysis, or TEN, can have long-term physical sequelae. Although many authors refer to the long-term psychosocial sequelae, they have noted that they remain unclear. The rationale for this study arose from a discussion with my colleagues in the Dermatology Unit in University Hospital Limerick, Sheila Ryan, an advanced nurse practitioner in dermatology, and Dr. Bart Ramsey, a consultant dermatologist. They described a clinical case of a man who had presented with a severe rash and was subsequently diagnosed with toxic epidermal necrolysis. The man appeared anxious and fearful, and this led us to question what was the psychological impact of SJS or TEN on patients. In order to answer this question, our team systematically searched seven electronic databases for research publications focusing on the psychological impact of SJS or TEN on adults over 18 years of age. We found six studies which met our inclusion criteria and the data from the results and findings sections were analysed using Braun and Clark's thematic analysis framework. Our findings highlighted that some healthcare practitioners lacked information about SGS and TEN and this led patients to be fearful and anxious. Some patients had symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety and depression. Our findings have concluded that SGS and TEN impact patients psychologically. The findings suggested that healthcare practitioners need to be educated about SGS and TEN and this should help them in providing patients with information and support, thereby helping to reduce their anxiety. Based on the findings, we suggested that on discharge from hospital, patients should have a follow-up appointment with relevant healthcare practitioners to reduce the possibility of PTSD occurring. In the case of our clinical scenario, our patient was cared for in the intensive care unit by a multidisciplinary team encompassing the expertise of the dermatological team and the ICU specialists. This provided reassurance to both the patient and their family. We found that it was important to have meaningful patient involvement from the onset so as to ensure that their experiences informs decision making and care pathways. The patient's care environments need to be as stress-free and person-centred as possible. This should all aid in better psychological outcomes for the patient.